Squinty needs to see a rat. Oh no, what's wrong, little kitty? My classmate bit me at school. Yikes. Let's just hope your classmate isn't a snake. Do snakes bite their friends too? What happens then? Great question. While we grab some first aid, let's explore something fascinating. What happens if a venomous snake bites another snake? Zoom in! Imagine two venomous snakes. One a rattlesnake, the other a cobra, slithering through the same patch of forest. Suddenly, they clash and one bites the other. You probably already know that snake venom is dangerous, even deadly. But here's the burning question. Can a snake die from another snake's venom or even its own? Well, before we address this battle, let's picture a different scene. What if a snake accidentally bites itself? Surprisingly, that's not a death sentence. Venomous snakes usually survive their own bites because they've evolved a special kind of natural immunity. Inside their bodies are special proteins called antibodies, which act like microscopic bodyguards. These antibodies quickly latch onto venom molecules and stop them from damaging the snake's cells. This built-in protection doesn't just work for self-inflicted bites, it also kicks in if a snake is bitten by another of its own species, since their venom is almost identical. Now, let's get back to the fight. What happens if the attacker is from a different species? Like in a battle, where the rattlesnake bites the cobra. Will the cobra be okay? Not necessarily. That's because different species of snakes produce different types of venom. And their immune systems may not be ready for the unfamiliar toxins. Venom is a complex cocktail of chemicals designed to shut down nerves, destroy blood cells, or even melt tissue. It's basically chemical warfare, and every species has its own unique formula. So, if a venomous snake bites another from a different species, there's a real risk of serious harm or even death. It all depends on how closely related they are and whether the bitten snake has evolved any sort of resistance. I know what you are thinking. Don't some snakes eat another? Yes, and that's where things get even more fascinating. Some snakes, like king snakes, are ophiophagus, which is just a fancy word for snake eating. They chow down on venomous snakes like rattlers and coral snakes and somehow survive. Why? Because they've evolved powerful resistance to the venom of the snakes they commonly hunt. That's the evolution in action. Adapt or become someone else's lunch. But here's the twist. That resistance doesn't always go both ways. A king snake might be resistant to a rattlesnake's venom, but the rattlesnake could be seriously harmed by a bite from the king snake. Nature's full of sneaky one-sided rivalries like that. Now you might wonder, why do scientists even care about snake-on-snake -snake battles? Well, it turns out that studying how snakes resist venom helps researchers develop better anti-venoms for humans. If we can figure out how animals naturally block venom, we might be able to create universal treatments, especially helpful in places where hospitals are far away. Plus, the more we learn about venom and resistance, the more we understand evolution, survival strategies, and how species interact 
in the wild. And as we all know, that knowledge helps save countless lives, both human and animal. It's trivia time! Did you know snakes don't inject venom every time they bite? Yes, some bites are dry bites, where no venom is released, just to scare off a threat. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Ahmad Musa. Hope you learned something anti-venomous today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. So, Kitty, like we said, no need to worry as long as your friend isn't a snake. Oh, trust me, in her own way, she definitely is. Well, never mind. <laughs>